Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. So it could be the fifth, could be the sixth, could be the seventh, could be whenever the timing is fluid. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. This is a daily energy that I am picking up on. Um, we have somebody, well, we are facing some major life challenges. And it feels like finding the strength to deal with these challenges is the main focus right now. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, competitiveness there's a lack of emotional growth. There's a lot of people that are parting ways, friends parting ways, family parting ways, relationships parting ways. I think that there's a lot of forward movement that is happening. Um, there's a decision that is being made. It is the moment of decision, okay? The decision is being made in regards to letting things go and starting over. I feel like we have somebody here that is really expecting trouble. They're, 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 it's like they sense it. And, you know, yeah, I do believe that there is some sort of troublesome situation that is brewing, okay? I feel as though there's a lot of repetitive behavior that needs to be stopped and, and until it is, there's going to be trouble, okay? There's a change that is needed. Um, I also feel like there's been some sort of misunderstanding because there's been a lack of communication. The lines of communication need to open up and the only way that they're going to open up is for somebody to let their guard down. So there's a need to let your guard down. Um, somebody is dealing with, uh, or they're having uh, feelings of, you know, jealousy. There's laziness. There's unhealthy patterns that keep being repeated. Um, there's somebody that needs to let go of an obsession and they just can't do so. They, they can't do an obsession. Could be an addiction of some sort. Let's get started with the cards. Oh, let's get started. Let's get one of these for an overall energy here. What do we got? Wait, somebody's not receiving the attention. Um, and they're, they're trying to figure out what's happening. You know, what's going on? Why am I, why aren't I getting the attention? I'm not getting the attention that I, that I'm seeking. They're not getting the attention because the person that they are focused on, that they are obsessed with is no longer interested. Um, it's time to look forward and let that go. Beginning a new cycle. First light. It is time to begin this new cycle. So that's what we have upon, upon us. A new beginning. Let's get one of these. One card, please. Envy. And I could see jealousy. There is a lot of jealousy and obsession looming. There is. There is. Make sure that you... Uh, not all is as, is as it seems, okay? It's not all as it seems. I feel as though we definitely have somebody that is jealous of another person's accomplishments or are jealous of what somebody else has and, and they're trying to compete to be like that other person. We are unique in our own ways. We don't need to be like that other person. The person with the most things, the person with the biggest house or the nicest car is not always the nicest person. So keep that in mind. That person obviously needs to uh, portray themselves to be something, you know, to get attention. So they are obviously lacking something on the inside if they need to, you know, prove themselves uh, with possessions. So just keep that in mind. Um, we do have somebody here that is very, very envious um, of what somebody else has. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's zoom this down. Hope you're all sitting down. What do we got? What do we got? This is a jealous individual that may act in a vindictive manner. Just keep that in mind. Um, and we, this is definitely a jealous 
person that is has a victim mentality. Both of these cards are victim mentality. So, um, I'm sorry. I just, I gotta, I gotta send a text real quick. Um, I'm sorry that I have to do this. This is a major interruption, I know. But, uh, I'm just telling them. I apologize. So there could be an interruption. Be prepared for that. There could be an interruption where there's an instance where you have to communicate immediately. Okay? Just keep that in mind. Anyhow, we definitely have somebody here that is jealous. Somebody that is vindictive. Somebody that uh, cannot master their emotions. This person is very insecure. Um, this person is, is definitely jealous of another person's uh, ability to give. A give without uh, asking for anything back. This person um, is, is wicked. Very, very, very wicked. <laughs> drowning in their emotions. We have somebody here that is drowning in their emotions. <laughs> A lot of conflict. Defeat. We have somebody here that cannot accept defeat. They cannot. Now, this is being left behind, being ghosted, abandonment. We could have somebody here that doesn't offer anything emotionally to some sort of situation. They bring a lot of conflict. They like to fight. We got somebody here that likes to fight. Ooh, an unexpected choice in love. There's a lack of hope. Somebody is feeling hopeless. And they feel they're feeling abandoned. Somebody is feeling abandoned. They're feeling hopeless. But there's a reason why things happen. This is Cupid bringing two people together that are meant to be together. These this is a soulmate contract. So this is, this is uh, an opportunity for love, an opportunity for a divine partnership, but somebody is feeling hopeless. They can't get their emotions in check. We definitely have somebody that is overly emotional, emotional. They're overly sensitive. They maybe really have some serious jealousy issues. This is a completion of some sort. That is your cycle that is ending. This cycle of abandonment is ending. There is an unexpected lover. There's a reason why things don't happen. There's a reason why things don't work out. This is an unexpected new opportunity for love. It's like they're bringing two people together. But we have somebody here that is uh, unable. This person is, is so not in a good place emotionally. This is deep sadness, heartbroken, disappointed. This is self-loathing and this is self-loathing. We have an, it could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. We have Aquarius, we have Gemini. We have somebody here that is self-loathing. And they're loathing over a new connection. Maybe they don't realize that there's a reason why something, they were abandoned or they were neglected or they were left behind because there's somebody else. Interesting. There is somebody else with a lover's card. There is. This is a love. This is a soulmate. This is a kindred spirit. It's a perfect union. But somebody is not. And But this is a choice. You have to choose to accept.
But we have somebody here that has been loathing and, and feeling hopeless about love. But they bring it when the time is right. When you decide to step over that finish line. When you decide to end that old cycle. When you let go of the jealousy. When you learn to master your emotions. When you accept the defeat. When you accept that, you know, you had to walk away for a reason. This is, we have somebody here that really needs to accept change. Find the strength and the confidence and the willpower and the discipline. The, the strength to let go. So anyway, I feel like um, we have somebody here that needs to stop crying they need to stop moping they need to stop self-loathing they need to accept the defeat and they need to hold their head up high and look in a different direction we have somebody here that doesn't want to let go of their control they don't want they, they really enjoy their power Now, this is not being able to master your emotions, and this is master your emotions. We have a new love here, a new, a new love that is entering the scene. We could be dealing with a Leo. We could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is severed ties, severing ties. reluctant to move on we have somebody here that's reluctant to take a new approach and it's there's just so much battling that this is so much conflict it really is a, there's a conflict of interest between these people it's very troublesome it's like these two people like to fight with each other they must thrive on conflict they may thrive on being a victim they could have somebody involved that is uh Pushing them. This person is vindictive. They are mean. They are jealous. And they're leading them in the wrong direction. They are leading them in the wrong direction. They could be dealing with... They may have this third party person that is egging them on. Causing them to cause problems. That is exactly what we got here too. This person is very petty. Very needy, very victim, very victim mentality, very, very uh, manipulative, scandalous. This person um, is so jealous, so, so, so jealous. And this person is causing problems. Keeping somebody, you know, telling somebody, oh, you need to do this, you need to do this, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. What's going to happen for this person? Oh, karma. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. So that person is going to get some karma and it ain't going to be good. So that's not going in their favor. That is that is the judicial season, uh, <laughs> judicial season, the judicial uh laws of karma, right? It's whatever this is doesn't go in their favor. The decision isn't in their favor with the justice reversed. Court re rulings, legal issues that go against them. They will not be happy with the outcome. Their scandalous, vindictive ways is going to bring them bad karma. This person has been lying. They've been causing arguments. They've been treating people unfairly. They don't want to be held accountable for any of their actions. They act in a dishonest manner. They use emotional blackmail as their tool. They cry all the time or they act like a real bitch because they don't get their way. Karma is going to pay, pay this person a visit. Something is not going to go in their favor.
for the revengeful person that is lying and not telling the truth and trying to cause conflict, that person is going to get some bad karma. Yeah, they just keep playing games. They don't want to let go. We have a tug of war here. We have a big, huge competition. And somebody is having a really hard time giving up. They really are. But things are about to change. And they are going to change in a positive way. Okay? Five, five, five. So that's positive change. But it comes with adversity. So things change. It's a card of personal freedom. It's major life changes and major life choices. So we have a choice here and this is a choice too. Somebody did, has not made the right choice. They have not been acting with integrity. They have not been telling the truth. They've been reluctant to move on. They've been keeping somebody in a troubled some situation. They've been egging them on, telling them to fight. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I don't care if you're bleeding. I don't care if you're hurt. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. And they're saying don't give up because they don't care. They have their own hidden agendas. This person is very secretive. They're jealous. They're jealous. So this person doesn't care who's bleeding. They don't care who's getting hurt as long as, you know, they get what they want out of this situation. But there is going to be an unexpected choice in love here because that is what the lover's card is. Somebody is going to be presented with an unexpected opportunity. There's going to be some sort of realignment of some sort. There's, there's a contract that is coming to an end. This is a contract and this is a contract. So we have one contract that is coming to an end. There's been a serious injustice. And then we have a new, we have a new contract that is coming about. Somebody is not getting their prayers answered because they didn't act with integrity. They didn't tell the truth. It's not going to go in their favor. The, the, their, their, their need to compete, their need to win at all costs. It's like the truth is going to come out. Their lies are going to come out. Oh, God, the Six of Cups reversed. That is freedom from obligation, packing up and leaving home. Uh, nothing stays the same. There could be some child abuse. There could be some child neglect. Somebody could have been robbed of their innocence. This could even be sex abuse. Perhaps there is some child abuse or, you know, however you want to look at that, that is revealed. That changes everything. This is a card of consequences. And this is too. So somebody could be suffering some consequences for fighting. Fight, 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 fight. Anyhow, I feel as though there is definitely going to be some consequences that are delivered. I feel as though uh, somebody may have been left behind and now it's time to go back. It's time to deal with this situation because this is being left behind. Perhaps there's going to be a reunion of some sort, a reunion between two people that are meant to be in each other's lives. We have somebody that has is about to learn a serious lesson because this is a lesson learned. This is a karmic lesson. Okay, so we do have a lesson that is that is being learned here. Somebody is about to step over the finish line and complete this cycle of abandonment to, to complete this cycle of... Uh, uh, not having their wishes fulfilled. Okay, this cycle is coming to an end. Okay, everything that you have ever wanted is right on the other side. All you gotta do is stop fighting, stop being so jealous, open up your heart, give without 
accepting. I mean, without give without expecting anything in return. This is unconditional love coming your way. Coming somebody's way. I don't know who. We have two people that are meant to be together. These are kindred spirits. It's very easy to see. When these two people come together, everybody can see how they feel about each other. All they can do is think about each other. All they can do is see each other. They aren't, aren't interested in nobody else. This is true love. So I think we have two people that are coming together, or they are together, that are meant to be together after being in a situation that was really unfair. There was a lot of conflict. Somebody was obsessed. They were obsessed with winning and they didn't care who they hurt. But now it's coming to an end. This fight, this conflict, this adversity, this tension, it is coming to the end. I feel like there is a decision that is being made and something is not going in the favor of the jealous, vindictive person that wants to fight constantly. That person is losing. Somebody is going to be relieved of their obligations. There's been some sort of child abuse. They've been playing games. They've been, they've been um, definitely lying. This is games and this is lying. They haven't been telling the truth. But things are about to change. That's things opening up. Somebody's about to share. They're about to give. Oh my goodness. The Queen of Pentacles. She's stable. She's a hard worker. She's devoted. Somebody is about to give something to this person. This person is uh, a gift. She's valuable. She knows her value. She's solid. She's stable. She's a hard worker. She's a homemaker. She does it all. She's nurturing. She's caring. She's generous. This person is about to receive something. It has to do with a union. It's like, and this is very unexpected. Somebody is about to communicate. They're about to open up and tell their feelings to this person. Whether it's their feelings or they're about to come forth. They've been really conflicted though. There's a lot of conflict here. And it feels like it's somebody that was left behind. Or they may have left you behind. It goes vice versa. This is a chance to... Uh, it feels like this could be some sort of reconciliation of some sort. And and the, when you get the lover's card, it could be between two people. It could be between lovers, but it could be between anybody. It's two people that are meant to be in each other's lives. Something is about to, it, to open up, okay? Communication is about to open up. Somebody had, may have been feeling hopeless. They may have been about to give up. They may have felt like, you know, I'm never going to get this or this is never going to happen. Here it comes. We have a new beginning that is starting. It's the end of, of abandonment. It's the end of neglect. It's the end of abuse. It's the end of loneliness. There's been a delay in getting this gift. But I think it's coming now. 555, five, five, life is about to change. There's been power struggles. There's been instability. But this is divinely guided major life changes. Let go of the old and bring in the new. <clears throat> Expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Somebody is going to be facing some karmic consequences. Karmic consequences. And they may lose money. They may lose something. And it may be given to somebody else. <clears throat> Whatever it is, they're going to be losing something that is... I, it affects their stability in some way. It affects their wallet by the looks of things. That's how karma is going to hit them. It's going to hit them in their bank account. 
because they because they they like conflict they thrive on conflict they have been egging somebody on they've been pushing somebody to fight they've been causing a lot of adversity in a relationship and they are about to receive some karmic consequences that are going to hit them in the bank account right where it hurts it is definitely going to be in the bank account and there is, that's how, how they're going to suffer their karmic consequences. This person that is jealous and vindictive and manipulative is going to feel a real pinch. They're going to learn their karmic lesson. They are. Because cause the universe is going to hurt them <laughs> where it hurts. Anyway. Um, we do have an expect the unexpected. There is an opportunity. Two people are coming together that are meant to be together. Somebody may be reconciling with somebody that they, uh, from their past. Okay. And when I say somebody from the past, it could be somebody from a past life. Okay. There are two people coming together that have known each other before. They have been in each other's lives before. These people are soulmates. So anyway, that's what I got. We have a major new beginning here. Somebody is completing the cycle of abandonment and loneliness. And they are coming together with the person that they are meant to be with. If you are in a coupled relationship now, maybe your relationship is stepping it up to the next level. Or the partner that you are with uh, could unexpectedly, I mean, because this is expect the unexpected, could expect it unexpectedly abandon the situation and go someplace else. Good luck.